Hey guys, so I'm driving home from the mall. Too funny. So after I left the mall, I got a little sketched out. I thought, oh man, I don't want to get arrested for uh, for assault. In Canada, if you even spit on somebody, that's assault. And I think there's a thing called verbal assault as well. So anyhow, these two kids that got these security guards after me in the mall, uh, these security guards didn't even come after me. I, I watched. Before I went back to my vehicle, I walked around a bit to see if any of the security guards were following me. I mean, I did beeline it out of there, <laughs> I'll give you that, but I did walk around and see if anybody was following me, uh, and then funny enough, across from the mall in a parking lot there was a, um, a police car, I thought, oh man, I wonder if they got called because of me, so I walked right over to them, and I was like, uh, hey, um, I got a question for you, um, my son does YouTube, and uh, if, he, if he's pranking somebody, and he like pretends to start a, a snowball fight with somebody uh you know is there a charge against that and he's like well how old is he i'm like uh 15 <laughs> i'm like you know if he sticks some snowballs in somebody's hands and says okay three two one let's go snowball fight uh you know if they if they uh if he does that what's what's the chances of them getting charged he's like well if the person files a a complaint then there could be an assault charge i'm like wow so, but he's like, yeah, how old is he? He's like 15. He's like, oh, if he's 15, don't worry about it. I'm like, well, what about an adult? <laughs> he's like, well, I'd be very careful. So the laws are a lot stricter, I think, up here in Canada. Uh, so I think I'm going to chicken out and not risk getting a charge. Because in Canada, if you get a charge, you can't travel across the border. You can't travel to the States. You can't travel to Tahiti, Bahamas, Australia. So I'm not going to get a, a charge um just because of a snowball fight prank because uh i mean the chances of it going super viral you know i'm not gonna risk it for that little amount of money so anyhow so but those I, i'm just amazed that those these kids were probably around 16 16 years old and they they literally walked after i said to them hey you guys watch youtube they're like yeah i'm like what's who's your favorite youtuber they're like uh pewdiepie I'm like, oh, cool, me too. I'm like, hey, uh, I don't have my son to film me here doing a prank. If I give you 10 bucks, will you, will you film me? And they're like, no, we're good. They're so snobby, so snuck up, like so stuck up. They're like, no, we're good. They're just, the attitudes on these two kids, oh man, I wouldn't have hired those kids in my uh, construction company or my, uh, I wouldn't uh, want to partner with them in any way. They were so attitude like they're better than the world punk teenage kids so anyhow there are some good teenage kids out there but these kids so anyhow they not only did they have bad attitudes they went up to a uh a bunch of security guards so it was like three or three or four of them uh security guards and i could tell they were talking about me because as i was walking the kids were looking at the security guards and then the security guards turned over and looked directly at me and in, in a mall full of people it's christmas time it's full of people so I just kind of laughed, but um, yeah, it was kind of comical seeing a, a police officer, like a supervisor one, right across the right across the street. So I just parked and ran right up to their car. It was sitting there parked in the parking lot. I just got him to roll down his window, and uh, he was a super cool cop, super cool. I was just like, hey, so if this happens, what happens? So I'm not gonna risk it. Um, it's too bad. It's too bad I don't have someone to film me because I, I probably would. I probably would do it. If I had someone right now filming me, I'd probably risk it and just be like, look, he's got it all on film. It was a harmless prank just to make some people laugh and uh, and also to uh, post it on YouTube and help some other people laugh. Oh, here's another cop right up beside me here too. Too funny. And, you know, but um, so comical, comical, comical. And um, yeah. So, anyhow, I'm going to sign off here soon, as soon as I uh, pull into the driveway, which I'm very close to. Um, so, I, uh, I tried to get uh, my one son that's home right now, I tried to get him. I'm like, he's got to do a whack of chores. He's got to clean his room. He's got a dog that lives in his room with him. So, you can imagine, it's, it's not clean. <laughs> and so, he's got to clean his room. 
he's got to do some laundry uh, because he does his own laundry and he's got to he left some uh, cleanup to do in the kitchen that he because he cooks his own meals and stuff too I got him real independent uh, his wife's gonna thank me one day that he can cook and clean himself I'm not raising lazy bum kids but um, but I'm not slave driving him either he's not doesn't have to clean the whole entire house I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> sorry guys I know that's loud I sneeze loud uh, I'm sorry that's just the way it is I I don't hold back uh, they say uh, if you go that I used to do this you know that type of thing and um, apparently that's not good for your brain or your sinuses if you do that I don't know if that's true or not might just be a uh, might just be a, uh, a rumor but uh anyhow so i am uh almost pulling in here and uh it's still snowing it's still snowing it was raining for a bit because it's not super super cold i'm not it, this is it like snows like once or twice a year where i'm at in canada it doesn't snow very often we've had a few years where there's been storms and stuff so anyhow so i'm parked outside the uh the carport here so I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna leave this one. I've got room in the carport for this vehicle, but I'm gonna leave it out because uh, I like the snow on the vehicle. It's like a free car wash. So like I always say, or I, like I always try to say, try and remember to say, even though I don't know you, I love you.